What's up guys, Ugly Shrew here, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Epic 2. We are moving on to Map 5, Abu Ghraib. This map is so much fun, and I'm actually going to play it very dangerously. Uh, first secret is in here. Let's right. grab that. Come down here with a chain gun. Take out these two shotgunners. And immediately just jump out and run for this blur artifact. As soon as you take that... Waken him. Waken him. Come up here. Use that switch. Jump down. Come in here. Immediately run the fuck out. Grab that. That's set in secret number two. Immediately run out. Do a little bit of fighting out here if you'd like. If not, run all the way in this room. Come to the left. Awaken that chain gunner. Run all the way back. Come in here. Immediately kill these two shotgunners. Ow. And take refuge in here as these enemies in fight. Fuck. And you can get a lot of this fighting done down here now. So pretty much, let's go check outside and see how that fighting is going. Um, as you can tell, most of the enemies are dead. Oh, excuse me, I just gotta scratch my nose. Okay, so with that, that's pretty much kind of half the enemies in the map. Um, I'm gonna come out here with a chain gun and just finish these guys off. Yeah, anyway, I awaken everything just to make sure that that fighting gets done. There's a lot of ammo bonuses out here that you're most likely going to need to grab afterwards. So make sure that you're picking all of them up. Ow, I'm not afraid of them. Okay. I really like the, uh, the soundtrack on this map, by the way. The MIDI is just excellent. Um, I'm actually going to go back up here and pick up that armor. down and we can continue this map pick up these health potions yeah like I said there's a few little bonuses out here that you're gonna want to grab especially over here come on this ledge grab that box of rockets come back around grab that box of shells once that's all complete you can come down here first thing I'm gonna do is kill these guys come over here there's a revenant that is not awakening for some reason. Oh, maybe I need to grab the yellow key first. Yeah, the yellow key is actually all the way down here. Maybe grab that, jump down, and actually everything will start to teleport in, including the incubus. So, just make sure you're getting out of there as quick as possible. Try to maneuver with your way around that incubus. Anyway, yeah, so after grabbing the yellow key, a revenant actually appears here, but he doesn't activate until you actually like come in this area. Anyway, while they're in fighting some more out there. Yellow key, yellow door. Wow, okay, I clicked and it did not fire. That was weird. Chain gun. A chain gunner will rise from that little pillar as soon as you walk out. Um, so that's a lot of the enemies in this room. Imp in there. Now, this part's really tricky, and I, I don't even know the easiest way to do this. Actually, I do, because we grabbed the Berserker pack. Use that, jump down. Make sure you can punch these guys out. As soon as you do, super shotgun. Let these guys in fire a little bit, since that's fun to watch. Yeah, a lot of this... Uh, entire wad is based around infighting. Alright, anyway. Now we have to wait for this to lower to bring us up, because none of these actually, like, work. Very suspenseful, maybe. Okay, so jump across, come in here, use that switch, and that'll actually raise this bridge right here. 
upon crossing it, chain gunner, shotgun, two, a shotgunner and two, cha two shotgunners and a chain gunner. Uh, secret number three is in here. I actually forgot to grab one of the other secrets outside, but I'll grab that after. That's right. Come in here, and we actually get a mega armor, which is going to be very much needed. Anyway, come around, run in here, run out, because there is going to be a helmet, and you don't want to get trapped along the way with the helmet. Trust me, you don't. There's also a chain gunner in here somewhere. Anyway, uh, punching that or shooting that little green torch over here will open that and you can get your backpack full of ammo, and that's another secret. Hitting that switch, we can actually come here with really a chain gun. Now, upon entering here, wow, why did I take that out? Uh, a whole bunch of dark imps are gonna teleport in, as you can see. You take them out with a chain gun over here. Or if you feel a little more comfortable going around. Or going right through. Run right through here. Turn to your right and there'll be a demon there. Some more shotgunners and skin enemies in here. Um, I'm gonna go grab that other secret now. Let me just kill these guys. Since Makibus didn't do it. Makibus is actually dead, isn't he? Oh god, no he isn't. Good thing I went up and looked for because it would have gotten me later. Okay. So anyway, we're going to go get that soul sphere as another secret. What we have to do is just come down here, use this, take the teleporter, and we have a soul sphere. Pretty easy. Um, okay, so now we're actually going to go grab... Uh, where the hell was it again? Oh, we have to go all the way around. Fuck. I thought there was an easier way to get up there. I could finish this map in pretty much under like seven minutes, I think. But I am taking my sweet old time doing this. Okay, so using this wall, we'll open that. You're going to want to use a chain gun for this part. Come all the way around, make sure you get to that pain in the middle. He's about to blow, take out your shotgun. Kill that lost soul. Um, hitting this back wall will reveal two more lost souls. Oh, why, why am I picking those up? I have 200, fuck. Okay, using this switch, take out a rocket launcher for this, if you have rockets. Red key, barons. Chain gunner up there, be sure to take him out or else he will pick you off. pretty much run around with these barons pretty easily, though. I did save a handful of rockets, though, you'll see why after. Right, anyway, once they're dead, I'm gonna come in here and pick up all their... There's some little angle bonuses and stuff. Use that. Now, this is a little tricky. What I'm gonna do... I'm not gonna play it risky. I'm gonna jump up there, awaken the Revenant and the Archvile since I've been having really bad luck with large files this part through. If he revives him, it's whatever. Alright, cool. So everything's dead up here. So once we have our red key and everything, we can jump out, and immediately Cacodemons will start teleporting in here. Or out here, rather. We are outdoors. I think there's six of them total. Once they're dead, into this in here. Ow! You got me. Come around. Another make this. And last enemy is right now. And that's everything. That is all the secrets. And we're pretty well armed, so we're gonna go ahead and exit Abu Ghurab. Um, this map is so much fun. I played this a million and one times before recording this video just because I was actually having a lot of fun doing so. Um, if you play it really risky and really dangerous, it's definitely a lot more fun if, unless you were just hide and uh, 
you know, st start picking off enemies left and right. It's not a bad time for a map like this, but like I said, I could finish it under 7 minutes if I really wanted to. I was having a little trouble at the beginning, but usually it's a lot easier than that. Um, and that's about it for Abu Ghraib. Excellent map, and I hope you guys are, are going to have fun playing it. Um, we're moving on to map 6, Revived Bones. So I'll see you all next time, guys. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.